to my reader, Kuro Song, and today I will be reading to you from Everlasting War by Cake. Now, on to Chapter 2, Muskfly. Papa. A man was checking almost every room, everyone, everything, just trying to find his father. He asked every guard he saw if they knew where he was. He checked in his study, the library, his chambers, with his mother, the throne room, but nothing. Atiet, the tall male asked loudly again, becoming more desperate. He wanted to make sure his dad was still there, as he hadn't seen him in a few days, hinting at the fact that he still left for battle. Отец, я пока не могу быть царем. Где ты? That roughly translates to, Father, I can't be sorry yet. Where are you? The man was panicking. He knew he wasn't ready. If a country lost their leader during a war and left the responsibility to his 20-year-old son or his pregnant wife, that would make the kingdom look vulnerable. Отец? Мне скоро пора уезжать в Хай. That roughly translates to Father, I have to leave for Hai El soon. The man was not wanting to give up yet. He burst into the nursery, which housed his two youngest siblings, and soon, the newest member once they were born. There, he found his mother reading her daughters a book. He quickly looked around, saying... Мать, ты где-нибудь видела отца? That roughly translates to, Mother, have you seen father anywhere? His voice didn't hide the panic under his accent anymore. Once she shook her head, he left. He was out of options. He couldn't leave to check the village. He had to remain hidden. The man stood in the middle of the corridor, defeated. He wore a blue uniform with matching slacks. A thin bronze gold cord draped from his shoulder and into his coat. The tassels of the shoulder boards hiding its origin. He wore five medals across his chest and a medal on his neck. A belt hugged his waist and a fur hat sat on his head, folded up so he wouldn't get too hot. At the time, though, it looked messy. His hair was messy and frizzy, his saber was missing, and the ties to his shoes were untucked. His fur hat was facing off to the left slightly. One medal was angled downwards, and another wasn't touching the other ones. A pitiful look for a crown prince. His flag contained three bars, a white bar on top, a blue bar in the middle, and a red bar on the bottom. Sir. The distressed male turned to face a guard, his uniform looking much better than his. The guard stood in front of him, waiting for a response from the crown prince. Sifi, où vas est l'ovest dra minya? The prince asked, trying his best to sound professional, again failing. The Russian roughly translates to, Serbia, do you have news for me? Его королевское высочество попросил меня отвезти вас в деревню. Он просил тебя одеться охранником. That roughly translates to, His Royal Highness requested I bring you to the village. He requested you be dressed as a guard. Я вижу, ну, я поменяю полыто, а потом мы уйдем. The prince responded, a wave of relief flooding him. His father was just in the village. The Russian roughly translates to, I see, well, I'll change my coat, then we'll leave. The guard nodded and turned away, and Russia left to his room. He quickly fixed his hair, changed his coat into a guard coat, and grabbed his saber. He had this outfit in case guests came. As... He wasn't even allowed to be seen by other royals, only guards in the castle. No air was different. 
the same rules apply to them. All the people knew was vague descriptions his family gave them. Once he was ready, he fixed his fur hat and left to meet back up with the guard. Photosha Slavian Moi Mujutim Otoy Sichas Vidieti Savoy The prince, thankfully, had a much better time containing his excitement. He had never left the castle grounds. He was born just after his eldest brother said that he wouldn't be crown prince, giving it up to the next brother to be born, which just so happened to be him. The Russian roughly translates to, All right, Sylvia, we can leave now. Lead the way. The village which surrounded the castle was bustling with people, but the prince noted that it was mainly women and children. Very few men lingered around. He came to the conclusion that other villages in the kingdom were struggling the same. He tried not to look at it like it was his first time, keeping his head straight ahead, but his eyes wandered freely. Ваше Величество, он в этом здании. Позже он встречается с королем Британии, поэтому он хотел не допускать его в замок. The guard whispered to the prince, leading him into a building. The Russian roughly translates to, Your Majesty, he's meeting in this building. He's meeting with the King of Britannia later, so he wanted to keep him out of the castle. He took him up some stairs and into a room, where he was there, the king, in all his glory. Russia felt relieved that he wasn't tricked, that his father was still there and well. Russia, Sun Moi, Prizdaiti Soldat, Nam Nada Brognit. The Russian roughly translates to Russia, my son, come here, we need to talk. Russia walked over to his father and sat in the chair next to him. In English, we don't need the guards outside hearing. His father spoke after a minute, his accent still heavy. What did you need, father? So, you know you're going to Hael, but you don't know why. Well, in case Britain and I's negotiations don't end well, you'll meet his son and discuss terms. Father, I believe I'm supposed to not be seen. Am I supposed to wear, like, a veil during those negotiations? Russia asked, tensing up. I know, it's... Technically not allowed, but you will be in Hael for two months for those negotiations. Both of you will show yourselves to each other, and you'll find a way to get me that damn land. As the Sultan of Hael agreed, we wouldn't send you there if you didn't, Russia. His father said harshly, Use your brain, Tupitsa. That little bit of Russian roughly translates to dumbass. Russia nodded, allowing his head to hang a bit. He felt a bit dumb after asking that question, but he just wanted to make sure. Two months was a lot, and that means he'd be way away from his family for a while. Their son is said to be extremely intelligent. You need to be careful. Hell, if you need to, try and charm him. But no agreeing to marry anyone in his family. Even him. Papa, why would I do that? That end in two kingdoms with no direct heirs. Exactly my point, he responded. Go back to the castle. Serbia will take you to Hyal tonight. Da, otiets. The Russian roughly translates to, yes, father. That is the end of this chapter. I hope you enjoyed. Anyway, you can probably tell that, like, halfway through, I stopped recording for a while, and I am currently recording while sick. Because, fuck you, I don't give a fuck about my health. <laughs> but,
with that being said, I hope you have a nice rest of your day, night, or whatever it is for you. Just enjoy your time. And I will see you tomorrow!